so today next thing is notifications like how we can showcase a notification that means when i click when i uh, when i create submit create a contact here i got a notification that your contact was created successfully like that a success message or if any error means it has to showcase the error message and also warning message information message like that how we can showcase the notification in a salesforce that is our next concept so that is something called tend those notifications put the home what about pre and show like it's not he'll be the one first one okay uh, okay fine let's create another component ne notifications notification notification post is exposed i want to the home page like app page record page wherever you want like so i'm just showing if i click the button if i click the button how the notification has to show but you have to implement this for the different buttons for the submit button uh, like that for the submit button or if any error means so based on the button which you are clicking you have to uh, implement that notifications so what is my scenario means Let's remove this one to create a lightning pod So this lightning card, so inside of lightning card, I'll be center. That means so all the buttons, all the uh, buttons, what I'm going to create, that will be in a like middle of that center of that lightning cord now i am using some glass is equal to for the buttons we'll have a different uh like let's search for the different buttons or oh, what type of buttons we have to use that we can choose here see if you want to showcase different buttons means we can showcase we'll create this is a button means normal button okay i want for the success i'll use this button or any other buttons A neutral button, brand button, outline brand button, and destructive button. So these are all like one one button they are showcased. But there, yeah. So we will use all the buttons will be here. Like we'll use the different things here. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Now. Okay, while we're using some glass, this M top I don't use this. Let's remove this one. Uh, we'll use some header. Heading as class is equal to. <clears throat> SLDS text 
heading medium SLDS. Who don't use anything will directly use the bundles. Let's see how it will be showcasing after that view. Lightning button. Group. Okay. I want to create a lightning button group. So inside of this lightning button group. So we have we need a success button, right? That is success. Success button, then pass <clears throat> uh, on click on click will use like success. <laughs> Okay, let's use that. After that, we'll see if it's not working, means we'll switch into actual uh, lightning buttons. <clears throat> okay, success button. Then, uh, error button, we'll use this. On click. Let's see. Let's see whether it's working or not. Then after that, it will be time based. Did it page? Notification. Okay. 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 Success button, error button. Then want to make a title means we'll use the give the title here, like those notification. And also here we have given the center, right? So that's why uh, all the buttons will be aligning in a center. This button, error button, post notifications. Those notifications, success button, error button. Uh, then any other button we need, like... That's it. Okay, next we'll use this outline brand button. Outline brand button. Where is this? I'll that I'll use this one as a in uh, a warning one. Warning. Warning. On click. On click is equal to warning. Okay, then info. So see, I'll will use for the information text to destructive button. Text to destructive button. What is this? Info button. So here we'll use to use the on click. So why we are using on click means to click the button, it has to do some operations, right? So that's why 
we are using this on clicks okay that's it now our html page was created but Okay, success button, error button, warning button, and info button. So one, when I click the success button, I want to get a notification that your record was created successfully. Thank you. Like that, it has to show. But the error button means there will be some error. Like that, it has to show. But the warning button means it has to show some warning like that. So this is my scenario. But we are not in a record page, right? We are not in a record page. We are... In uh, like a home page. Okay, let's add this in our uh, record page so that, uh, sorry, yeah, in the record page so that it will be working. So, so we'll add that in a, after that. So it's already added, but we have to add that to the page. Let's go to the HTML JavaScript file and uh, we'll design that. So import. <laughs> Why, why we have that? We can, no, no need to add that one. We just create this one after that, we'll see. Next, our, this is my success, right? So this is our handler, success handler. Then next is our error handler. Then next is our warning handler. So no need to add it into any record page, like that will be take a time. So we'll just click that button. It has to show that notification here itself. Uh, then info. Info handler. Let's wait a minute. Info. In a. Ah, okay. So we will design this handlers first. Ah, okay. Okay, so we will design this handlers now. Now we are designing the handlers in a success handler. So how we can create the notification means const. So this is the predefined syntax. Okay, you have to like if it is a, this one is I can change this one show success instead of show success I can make it as a success or something whatever it is I can. Do. But this is the constant. The predefined one this is a name of that area, uh, property so here i'm creating a new event new toast event show show toast event show toast event so here title so my title is success right we have to show success Come on. Nothing. Fridge mail. Message. This is success. Uh, message. So this is the user defined if you type anything like record created successfully like that means you can change accordingly so i am just a success message i am just creating a variant this variant here will decide what is the message about like this will decide if this is the success notification we have to uh, showcase or if it is a warning notification we have to showcase this variant will decide that one Wait a minute, wait.
sorry guys uh title is success this is success message and variant is success this variant will decide uh, what is this uh, uh, notification about it has to be like success only okay then this dot of dispatch we need to dispatch that notification event right dispatch any custom notifications also this not those notifications also we have to dispatch it. when you create a custom notification also we can uh, see that uh, uh, dispatching so the where we have saved our not event here right so that's why i'm dispatching this one okay that's it so now we have created our success one same thing for the error but the messages will be different constant instead of success i'll be using error show error my toast event new toast event title will be error instead of the success i'll be using error uh, this is error message this is error message so the variant should be here previously we will be using the success right now i will be using the error dispatch dot event so i am dispatching show dot error okay now same thing now for the error for the sorry for the warning warning uh, show warning show warning i am dispatching show warning So warning toast event. My title is warning. Warning. This is warning message. Warning message. Variant here is warning. Okay. Warning is my variant. So we are dispatching the warning. Then the info. Let's. Let's copy this constant thing. Info. So show toast event show info. Info show toast event warning instead of title. I'll be using info. Info. Then this is the info. This is info message. This is info message. Variant is info. Info now dispatch info show info show info right now we have created all our uh, handlers let's save this one saved it let's deployed it. I click warning button. Why error button? Success button? Why it's we miss anything? Ha! Huh. We have missed the main thing. Okay, we have missed the main thing. So what we have done? We have JavaScript file. What we have done? We just created our warnings and all, but we forgot to import the toast event uh, module. For that, we have to import show toast event event show toast event from from light lightning lightning platform show host so we have to import show toast event from LIGH lightning platform show toast event that's it deployed now re-render it Okay. 
Now when I click error, this is error message. When I click success, this is success message. When I click warning, this is warning message. This is info, this is info message. The colors, that will be decided by this variant. Like if it is a success, so that's why it has to, the variant should be like it is a green color we need to show because it's a success one. If error, it has to show red color. So this variant will decide what is the button above. Okay, so like that. Then can we change color according to our need or requirement? Mm, normally in our uh, like in a visual force is predefined uh, predefined in a visual force uh sorry visual visual force right that another is a language that we can decide but here the variant is predefined we cannot change the colorings here the success okay. Okay. Or all. we cannot create uh for example let's see is there any notification uh, this is the different notifications, like different notifications for waiting creations and calls creations. So these icons will be like it's a predefined. If you use that code, means only like this type of uh, notifications you will get. Did you get it? What I'm saying? Like different notifications will be there. So based on that, you the but but that was is a predefined. You cannot change the colors for that. The release notes, scope notifications, that's it. Notifications. This is the one only. Okay. So this is the notifications. Like that that was a predefined one. We cannot change it. But if you want to make like different notifications, we need to showcase means for for example for the meeting creations. So this is the call creations, task notification. This is the task notifications, this is the different notifications. So here we'll use this type of course. So wow, how you can find these things means we need to see this library and also component library. If you if you have any doubts in your uh, uh, buttons creations and chord creations or lightning input and flow creations means we'll come here or for the stylings means we'll come here like different buttons will be there different button groups you can find different checkbox you can find like what type of checkbox you can find for the notifications only this will be available for the notifications uh, you cannot do anything so for the close close notification close button so different notifications will there so we need to check like what is this about okay okay did you understood this one right yes 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 okay uh, lakshmi can you uh, go in just what is this export Miss, can you please explain one more time this one export default yes so when we create a lightning component this will come default right so what is this means? So we are exporting default class from class. Which okay, is okay. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Understood, understood. When we create a component, this line uh -huh. automatically create. Yeah, yeah, it will come. When we create yes. a compo component, it will automatically create. Okay. Actually, it will import ke niche aaya na, to uh -huh. me thoda confused ho uh, okay. Mujhe laga so kuch export this... hai ke No, no. No, we, we just added only this show those notifications. So if you want to create a record, we'll use the create record from some different module. If you uh, want to get the records, we will use this. Uh, says these are the modules we have to import. Like if you are using this notifications, means we have to use this modules in our import. We have to import first, then only we can use it. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is about the notifications. So our next concept is navigations. So you can find this one, like you can use this one in our uh, uh, project also. So, but it's not used, but you can use, you can use um, in our project also. And then our next concept is navigations. So what is mean by this navigations means? Uh, computer. For example, 
if i click some button if i click some button so i need to go to that page for example if i click click this tab it will be leading this it will be leading me to this uh, page right so that means we are navigating from one page to other page for example if i am in a home page for example if i am in a home page uh home page so if i click if i created some button or over here if i click that button it will it will uh, it will lead to this lwc fundamentals or it will if i click that button it will lead to this apollo patients means how we can navigate from one page to other page that will be using this navig navigation service that means by using these navigations we can navigate from the to the app pages record pages and uh, home pages and also a like particular record page or uh, some like different pages we can navigate from one page to other page how this navigations will be working so in our project so there is you can find that appointment to doctor contact as two buttons right right did you did you watch that did you observe that one in a home page there is something called appointment in apollo hospital uh, uh project oh, yes. you can find like appointment to doctor and the contact us yes. that yes. means right if i click that contact us button it has to showcase the contact us page right button. so that yes. yeah uh, there it will i will enter the de details and when i click the save button that details will be saved into queries or something right so that is something when i click that button it will navigate to some page right or it will navigate to some other uh, record page or list page so how we can do that so that will be coming under this navigation services basically navigation services is something we can navigate from one place to other place from navigation service in lws So, so to navigate in a lightning experience lightning communities and salesforce apps use the navigation service lightning or navigation service so basic navigation I'll, so you can find numerous how what we can import like what is the code for this navigation the different navigation thing we can find here uh, see here they have navigate to record page record page object page or uh, or uh, relationship pages or any standard name of pages object pages name of pages object so different pages if you want to navigate component standard component if you want to navigate to some components means directly we can navigate to that component where that component will be there so that component we can navigate uh, web pages if you want to navigate to different web pages means we can do that so different things will be there we will see some other things we will see some things so here they have given some examples okay well why don't we create this one like in stuff creating some other things so different here they have created a new account view account edit account so that means navigated to new account navigated to view account navigated to edit account so then account recent list views related list views navigate to home pages and contact home pages chatter home reports tabs and a, a web pages that means this web page or any files you want to navigate that and also navigate to any visual force pages is there any visual force pages created or lightning or a components let's leave this one because we have not created this one like we can see up to this then so like how we can navigate this for the account page navigate page how we can navigate this so we'll try to copy and paste this one and what we will do is i will explain like what is this about like how they have created like you can also e easily understood but let's copy and paste because here so many things will be there like different pages we can navigate easily so the time waste it was time waste to create or like type all those things let's create Mm, sorry navigation navigation 
com so we deploy okay it's already there navigation compo compo okay so let's copy this one they are creating different buttons first let's copy this one like how it will be coming after that we'll see the template control a control v so what they have created is a template in the lightning code they just created the name given the name lightning navigation services after that in a lightning code they have created lightning code for the different uh, thing for navigate to record pages means view account view account edit account and also let's let's deploy this so that you can understood clearly right navigation compo will uh, add in our home page sorry in our lwc fundamental page navigation compo right so navigation services in lwc lightning web component so na navigate to record pages navigate to views like account recent list views related list views home pages navigate to home navigate to contact name and also navigate to chat to home navigate to reports navigate to tabs navigate to stfc point and navigate to any files any component you want to navigate like visual post and also or lightning components so if you want to com uh, navigate means we'll use this button but this button was not designed yet so it won't work it's just a static component so if you want to make this as a dynamic means we have to create our javascript okay. so let's go back to so note down this SF, SF, this sfdcpoint.com so this is very good site you can able to find all the concepts like salesforce uh, like see interview questions certifications if you want to prepare for the certifications means certifications and uh, topic wise you can prepare like apex related questions lwc related questions different uh, all the concepts will be there in this blog sfdcpoint.com can you please copy paste this link in chat yeah so you can find all the codings all the important syntax here okay so first what we need to do we have to import this navigation mixer right uh, back here we have to import this navigation mixin so previously we have imported what we toast notification show toast event right like that here we need to navigate right so that's why we have to we have to import this navigation mixin so after that so here we need to do something like extends navigation mixin we need to add before this lightning element second point you have to remember that this extent navigation mix in the lightning element right we have to add this apply the navigation mix in function to your component base class for this base class we have to add this navigation mix in so after that we just copy and paste this code create a plain javascript page reference Uh, object that defines the page to dispatch the navigation request call the navigation services called navigation mixin dot navigate okay so let's copy this one 
Let's copy this one. From this one. What's that? One by one, we can copy. I'll explain this first. After that, we'll go for it. So here, we'll be exposing the at the rate of API record ID. That means here, what we need to do, we have to use the API. Right? API decorator, we have to use because we are using the at the rate of API, right? So why I'm using this? Why I'm exposing this record ID piece? So <clears throat> I want to fetch some of the uh, account details or uh, record details or I can view the record details means <clears throat> that record ID has to be exposed. So that's why we will make this uh, record ID as a at the rate of API. So now what we are going like navigate to new account page. So we have to navigate to account page. So navigate to new account page. So here in a HTML we have given the handle as a navigate new account page. Now I'm designing that handle. So inside of this handle, we'll be using our navigation services. That means if I click that button, what will happen? This navigation makes it navigate. This is the predefined one. So what is the type? Like standard object page. I want to or uh, I want to navigate to object page. So then attributes is object API name is account object. I want to navigate to the account object and the action name is new account. So I want to create a new account, right? So that's why here my action is a new. So here navigate uh, to new object yeah. API name means uh, uh, account object API account, name, right? Yes, yes. For example, so, here you want to showcase the contact means here you have to use a contact. Okay. You want to contact. And action, action name means what? Action name is you are creating a new record means it's a new or you are able to, you are already created records. You are going to see means view action name. Yeah, we are viewing, right? Okay. So creating yes. a new new means the type is standard object or if you are creating a, if you are want to see a, any other uh, records means we have the type is standard record page. That means we have to navigate to record page. Then only we can view the details, view the record details, right? So that's why yes. here the type is record page. So when we create a record, if you want to create an account record or whatever it is, if, if you click that button, so one new account record, uh, record creation page will be open. Okay. So how we can navigate here means navigate to account page, this dot navigation section dot of navigate and type standard object page and also the attributes and all. So, so now we can apply these things with our uh, project. You know, if I click the contact as button, so there it has to open the, uh, what it has to open, it has to open the patient query object, right? Patient query creation object. So that what you can use this like this. Uh, for this contact click button, you, you can click on click. In that, this dot navigation, bricks and dot of navigate, the type is standard object, uh, st uh, standard object page. Attribute is object API name is here, st patient query and action name is. If you click, give like this means when you click that contact us button, it will showcase the patient query creation page. Okay. We can do that or different ways we can achieve, but this is one of the way. Or now, now my scenario is if I click any button, it has to showcase uh, the record, like the record details. I want to uh, uh, go through the record, record page or something. So that means here I'll use this view record page. So here navigate to view account page. 
and this navigate medicine dot of navigate standard records page it has to here the tab type is standard records page that means i have to navigate the record page not to the object page so every page there will be a need so first we need to know what is the object page what is the record page then then we have different pages will be there right i'll tell you what is the different pages first we'll see that one after that we'll come back here and i'll let you know standard object page what is mean by object page means so if the if it, if i give the combination of standard object page standard object page and action is new means it will showcase these details it will showcase the de these details or standard record page means this is the standard record page this is something called the record page okay then the ps point record page record page then object page you have already know but standard of that inside of the standard object page list means where it will lead means if the action name is list means it will lead you to this this one list view so standard object the combination of list means the combination of list means it will lead you to the uh, where it is it will lead you to the this one so here you can you have two options recently viewed and also uh, like related list or something wait a minute recent recent and all right recent and all we have two options right for example here i can it will be like a recently viewed and i can able to see showcase all details right we can use the filterings for that so state what is the state so whether it's a recent or it's a all if it is a recent mean it will showcase the recent value this or filter name is all means it will showcase the all records right next thing is next thing is what is it relationship page that means if it is a account account means if you want for the account what are the relationships contacts will be there and also opportunities will be there so different things will be there right so if you want to showcase some uh, objects related pages related uh, details means you have to give the standard record relationship page relationship page and then you have to give the record id which record you want to showcase the details so what for the which object you have to go to the relationship for the account object for the contact i want to showcase on a view page i want to view the details that means wow, means what type of details if you are giving the record id for example so for this thing what will be the output means uh for consider if it's account object account object if you are given the account object you have placed somewhere like in a in a record page definitely you have to paste that in a record page because the record id we have to give right so there the record id that means what it will showcase means it will showcase the you know, details the related sorry in a related see already i have implemented it but this is different one if i click this one in a new record page means it will open a new record right if i click this edit record page means it will edit actual record so now i'm in a change like right so it will open the edit record page if i click view record page means i can able to view the details i can able to view the details so details i can view well, i can be able to view the details of this record so then for example navigate to list means if i click the list this means i can see the list list of accounts so then you go inside if i go inside if i click the related list view if i click this related list view means so for this contact there is no related account for this account there is no related contacts so that's why i i'm i'm not able to see anything 
because zero contacts, right? So that's why I cannot see this related list view. So navigate to object account page means object uh, object account account object. I'll be for example, I'll be navigating contact page means I can navigate to contact page. I can navigate to contact page. Then is there any web page I want to navigate? Yes, web page I can navigate because google.com. So then for the home page means so home page I can navigate. For the home page I can navigate. If it is a chatter page means I can navigate to chatter page. But the coding will be same. Where is the coding? Let's go there and see. Let's copy this one and I'll explain it to you one by one. Okay then, bye.